The race to move into the Olympic Stadium has already endured one full start. West Ham have been called back to the blocks to run again, this time as tenants. But can anyone who lines up against them expect a fair contest? No, say critics who point to these words from Boris Johnson last week. The stadium will be part of the Mayoral Development Corporation and we will rent it, which will cover the running costs to a football club, which may very well be, in fact will be uh, West Ham. Maybe a slip of the tongue, but at Leighton Orient, the closest club to the Olympic Stadium, those comments have been seized on by a man who has always opposed West Ham moving in. As the Mayor of London, who's responsible for signing off the Olympic Stadium, I think he's rather overstretched the mark. You know, he's made actually the whole process flawed now, even by his decision that, that his view is that West Ham are a certainty. You know, why should anyone else bid, in other words, because Boris has made his mind up. And looking back up a little bit. The Mayor's presence here today marks the start of work on a rather smaller 2012 project, the transformation of Jubilee Gardens beneath the London Eye. But has he dug himself into a hole when it comes to his comments about West Ham. Why should anyone else bid for the stadium when, in your words, West Ham are almost certain to move into it? Well, as I, as I say, the process is completely watertight and open. Uh, Barry Hearn, Barry's coming into City Hall in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we look forward to, to hearing what he's got to say. What Hearn will say is that Leighton Orient now see the Olympic Stadium as a potential new home, provided it can be scaled down to 25,000 seats. The legacy company has said tonight that can't happen before the 2017 World Athletics Championships, but that all serious bids will be considered. Chris Slegg, BBC London News.